Hey there friends, welcome to another Hunter Pet video. In today's video we're going after the War Iron Axe Beak. Now this Hunter Pet is a mechanical animal and there are some prerequisites to that and I will explain that in this video. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward on how to get. I do recommend coming in on max level in order to acquire this Hunter Pet and I will explain that why. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get ourselves a War Iron Axe Beak. The first thing that you're going to need to get started with is you are going to need to know how to tame mechanical animals. Now in order to do this, you are either going to need to be a goblin or a gnome, or you need to acquire a Mechabon imprint matrix. Now this can easily be purchased at the auction house, or you can actually go and get it yourself if you are an engineer. I'll leave that down in the description below for my video on how to acquire this. It's not too hard, it is a little time consuming, but in my own personal opinion, buying it in the auction house is just the easiest route. To get started, we're going to be in the Warlords of Draenor expansion, and we're going to head to Tanan Jungle. Once there, you're going to head over here to the Hellfire Citadel. You're not actually going to go into the raid that's here, you're actually going to fly over the wall and into the courtyard. Now, you want to head more specifically into this area right at the top of the H for Hellfire. Now, if you need help getting there in Orgrimmar and Stormwind in the portal room, you can find a portal to Ashra that'll take you into the Warlords of Draenor expansion as long as you have actually unlocked it. Now that you've done the hard part of getting yourself here, let's talk about why you need to be max level. So as you'll notice as you run around this little courtyard area that everything that you are encountering is level 40 because this is several expansions back. So as I was making my way over here to the Toucan, which again is at the top of the H for Hellfire, and it's just right behind these boxes over here. It is right down there. So I found it, I was like, okay, well, two NPCs and a Toucan. This is not going to be that hard for me to end up doing. I'll just tag it and tame it. Not that big of a deal. Well, the thing that I didn't realize is that these are elites and they're elites level 70. So they are at level with me and I didn't realize that. So as you could probably guess, it did not go in my favor. Now, I purposely ended up dying because I actually did not want to accidentally kill this toucan because there is only one that's over here. And if you accidentally kill it, then you're going to have to wait between 25 and 45 minutes for it to spawn back. So... I took the loss and I just went back. Now that I have my body back, in order to tame this is actually ridiculously easy. Get on a flying mount of any kind that you prefer and just go down there, pull aggro, fly up. And what ends up happening is the two NPCs on the ground stay put, but the toucan will come to you. And I know I keep calling it a toucan, but you know, it is what it is. And you just tame it business as usual. And there you go. That's how you get the War Iron Axe Beak. Super easy. So again, you just get on a flying mount, swoop down, pull aggro, and fly up. You lose the aggro of the two NPCs on the ground, but the bird comes with you, and then you just tame the bird. Really easy. Now, because I wanted to have a second one of these, I ended up having to wait, again, like I said, about 25 to 45 minutes for it to end up spawning back. So it's kind of a bit of a wait, but you know, I just ended up, you know, doing adult stuff like getting dressed and brushing my hair and getting a second cup of coffee and you know, you can find something to do with your time, I'm sure. <laughs> my second attempt of getting this bird actually went a smidgen different. I mounted up and for some reason I only pulled aggro on the bird this time around and not the two NPCs. But again, business as usual, just tame it and put it in your other stables of pets that you have because I have way too many. And that's it. That's how you acquire this really cool hunter pet. Just in case you're curious, I named one fruit and the other one loops. So together combine their fruit loops. <laughs> Let me know if you go out and get this hunter pet for yourself. If you do, tell me what you ended up naming yours. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fun little punny names out there that you could end up giving these little toucans. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's somewhere around here. We're almost at our goal of 1,000 subscribers, and I would love to have you to be a part of this growing community of full of fun people. 
If you have a 100 pet suggestion that you would like to have featured on the channel, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do about putting it on the books for a future video. I have had some comments left for some hunter pets that are not exactly the easiest to get, so I will do my best to do what I can to get them featured on the channel. Well, I look forward to seeing you in the next hunter pet video. Bye for now.